Welcome to an NBA recap video where I'm going to be going over the best from today's slate. The start of the in-season tournament eliminator round started with the Pacers and the Celtics and the Pacers are going to complete the upset of the Boston Celtics. They are coming into this game at like five and a half point underdogs. Tyrese Halliburton was questionable with a sore knee and also an illness coming into this game, but he played in front of the home crowd and showed out. He notched his first career triple-double, 26 points, 13 assists, and 10 rebounds while shooting 10 for 18 from the floor and 5 of 11 from 3. He only attempted one free throw too, but he is just a single-handed offensive engine as this team is showing a lot of similarities to a team like the Sacramento Kings last year. They have an elite offense, give credit to Tyrese Halliburton, Rick Carlisle, they have a, a bunch of other nice players on this team, but then Tyrese Halliburton is just evolving into a superstar. They don't necessarily have that second all-star like the Kings did last year with DeMontis Sabonis yet but they have a lot of nice pieces. Buddy Heald, Bruce Brown, Miles Turner, Obi Toppin, Aaron Neesmith against his former Celtics team tonight had a very good game. Then guys like Bendith, Benedict Matherin, who was a very exciting rookie scorer last year, he's coming off the bench. So this Indiana Pacers team is definitely going to be able to put up a fight on any given night, as every night it seems like they're a guarantee for 120 plus points. And the defense, it did show up at times when it was needed tonight, as they were able to knock off the Boston Celtics so definitely a huge win only the Celtics fifth loss of the season obviously Hal Burton stole the show 26 point triple double he's just going to be special for so long and already is looking like a superstar for the second game this was the New Orleans, Pel New Orleans Pelicans and the Sacramento Kings in Sacramento the Kings were not able to light the beam tonight as I feel like this was a statement win by the Pelicans and I know it's a big if it seems like we've been saying this for a while now but if the Pelicans can stay healthy they have all the makings of what can be a dark horse contender and a team that no one will want to face in a seven game series. As first, you have the superstar talent or the star talent, guys like Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, then CJ McCollum. He's back healthy right now. He could be a prolific scorer. Then they have it surrounded by guy, by shooters like Trey Murphy, Jordan Hawkins, who didn't even play tonight, and then wing defenders like Jose Alvarado. Herb Jones has been incredible in that starting lineup. Jonas Valanciunas is solid center that's evolved his game a little to fit their style as well. Obviously the problem is the injuries. They've already had guys like Trey Murphy, Alvarado, McCollum, Jones, Ingram, and Williamson. It seems like all of these guys have been out at some point or another, but tonight's game when Zion only put up 10 points for them to go into Sacramento and take a win and advance to face the winner of Lakers Suns, that's some, some impressive stuff, and whenever this team is healthy, they're a team that can beat anyone.